Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Smiley, and welcome back to my post-run stretching series. This is part four. Now, we've covered quads, hammies, and calves. And with our hammies, we had the diagonal square one. If you haven't seen it, that's in part three. Go back and look at it, where we cover right up through here. We're gonna do the groin now, which is a very similar, but different setup. So now my feet are gonna be parallel. They're gonna be pointing in the same direction. They're not gonna be like this. Okay, so now that my feet are parallel, they're gonna be wider than hip width. I actually need to go a little bit wider. And I'm just gonna come straight across. Things that I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna tip forward. Just for the camera, I'm not gonna do this. That actually changes the alignment of my pelvis. As soon as I tip forward like this, my pelvis changes and these muscles attach from the pubic bone kind of area in the ramus of the pelvis and come down onto the femur to control this inside, this upper inside part, and some of them come down a little bit longer. So as soon as I change that alignment to my pelvis, I get a completely different effect. That's valuable if it's intentional. We can do that differently in a different position. But right now, I want you to stay upright. So we're going to come across and down. My, por my torso is upright like this. My hands are at the creases of my hips further. And I'm just gonna be in this position and come straight down. Again, my feet are lined up well. I can feel this stretch more up through here, whereas the hamstring line came all the way down through there. And I just get there and I hold and I can settle into it. And it's very, very easy. 40 seconds, as always, the first 20 is to engage, the last 20 is to stretch. See you at part five.